If you're using an agile approach to managing a team's work, you might be using an approach that claims it is iterative and incremental. What does that mean? Well, to explain this, why don't I draw you a picture? Let's say you're standing in a field covered with snow. You pick up a handful of snow and you form it into a snowball. You do it again, you pick up more snow, and add it to the snowball. Let's say that's your process. Continually adding snow to what you already have, a snowball. Each time you add snow to the snowball, it gets bigger, but it's still called a snowball. It's the same way in incremental development. You create something very small, and you call it the increment. You continually add to the increment, but each time you're done adding to it, it's still called the increment. Our process stays the same. It's repeatable too. This process is, get some raw materials, evenly add them to what you already have. So, it's a repeatable process as well as an incremental development model. Let's start over and put all of this together. Pick up a handful of snow, form it into a ball. That's one iteration of your process. And what you've created is one increment, one snowball. Now pick up another handful of snow and add it to the original snowball. The snowball got bigger with the next iteration, and the increment is now bigger, but you still call it the increment. After a few iterations of this, you put the snowball on the ground and roll it around so that you get snow all around it. Each time you do that, the snowball gets bigger and bigger. So, in our terms, the increment gets bigger and bigger. Now, let's say that snowball gets so big you can't roll it around anymore. Let's just leave it there for now. Let's start again. Start with the snowball, make it bigger, roll it around on the ground, and it gets even bigger. Now get a friend and pick up that big snowball and place it on top of the first giant snowball. You've just integrated one big snowball with another bigger snowball. You've integrated two increments. Incremental development models are about developing fully functional pieces of a product that eventually get integrated together. Okay, one more time. Let's make a big snowball, roll it around on the ground. It gets bigger and bigger. At intervals, you look at our progress to make sure the increment is at the quality we expect. Then you pick that snowball up and put it on top of the first two snowballs. At this point, you may recognize what you have as a snowman. But is it really a snowman? We might call this an MVP, a minimum viable product. Someone walking by might recognize this as a snowman. They might even stop and say how nice your snowman looks. But if this were a snowman building competition, at this point, would it be competitive with all the other snowmen? An MVP resembles the final product vision. Customers may even recognize what you are building, but it may not be ready for competition in the marketplace. Say I had a box with a scarf, a top hat, a carrot, some pieces of coal, and some twigs in it. If we added all of that to the snowman in the next iteration, how does it look now? It's still a snowman, right? Wasn't it a snowman before? Is the snowman we have now more competitive with all the other snowmen in the snowman building competition? In an iterative and incremental process, we can take a step back at any point and see our progress. An iterative process is a repeatable process. An incremental process is one where you build fully functional pieces of a product that are eventually integrated together.